Sangareddy Mathematics Paper Pre-Final Examination So here Part A Like first question See in part A Section 1 consists of like 12 questions In group A 6 questions Group B 6 questions So we need to write any 3 from each group A and group B So here is the first question The first question is We need to find A union B and A intersection B So here A is a union B so first problem here A is 2 4 6 8 10 union B is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 union means we will write all the elements okay but if we have something common we cannot repeat the elements in a set so write all the elements here like 1 See here we have 2, here we have 2, but write only 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is A union B. Now suppose see if it will come same question in MCQ, then we say A union B is nothing but we got B here. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that is nothing but B. Now then they are asking A intersection B. A intersection B is A is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 intersection 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 intersection means the common elements in both the sets see the common elements are here like 2 we have 4, 6, 8 and 10 it is nothing but A A intersection B we got A and A union B you got B so what do you infer means you can write this one uh, what do you observe A union B is B A intersection B is A because here A is subset of B uh, actual answer is this is done because they didn't ask anything A union B this is the answer A intersection B this is the answer next second question here they are asking write in logarithmic form no. logarithm form of 1 by 32 equals 2 power p see to write in logarithm form the definition of logarithm is definition of logarithm if a power x equals n then x is said to be log n to the base a so here in place of a power x we have 2 power p equals 1 by 32 so if you want to write in logarithm form See in place of x we have p, p equals log n that is 1 by 32 to the base 2 to the base 2. This is logarithmic form. Next question is right, find a quadratic polynomial with zeros 1 and minus 3. With zeros 1 and minus 3. So here alpha is 1, beta is minus 3. Now see first find sum, sum is alpha plus beta which is nothing but 1 plus minus 3 which is minus 2, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, so minus b by a is minus 2, then calculate product that is alpha into beta 1 into minus 3 which is nothing but minus 3, product is c by a, now if you will compare the values here if you will compare the values you will get like a you will get 1 minus b is minus 2 minus b is minus 2 so b is 2 and c is minus 3 so standard equation is ax square plus bx plus c so you can write 1x square plus 2x minus 3 this is the required polynomial you can do in another method also you can use the formula if you want you can use the formula for this problem the formula is third problem alternate method that is x square minus x into alpha plus beta plus alpha beta so here you can take the constant k so k x square minus x into alpha is 1 beta is minus 3 plus 1 into minus 3 
so k into x square minus x into minus 2 plus 1 into minus 3 so here x square minus into minus plus 2x plus into minus minus 3 so if at k equals 1 the polynomial is x square plus 2x minus 3 so in this way in two methods you can solve this problem okay next question solve the linear equation 2x 2x plus y equals 8 and x minus y equals 1 by using the method of elimination see to eliminate already the variable coefficient of y and here also coefficient of y is 1 with opposite sign so directly i'll add both the equations so if i'll add plus 1y minus 1y will get cancelled x plus 2x 3x 8 plus 1 9 so x equals 9 by 3 so x equals 3 now take any one of the equation from here only like x minus y is 1 so 3 minus y is 1 so 3 minus 1 if we'll transpose this minus y to the other side plus y so 2 equals y therefore x equals 3 and y equals 2 next question fifth one show that the discriminant of the equation is 1 fine discriminant we need to find 3x square minus 7x plus 4 equals 0 this is a quiet equation so here standard quiet equation is ax square plus bx plus c compare and write the values of a a is 3 b is minus 7 c is 4 so here discriminant formula discriminant d or delta is b square minus 4ac so here clearly b value is minus 7 minus 4 into a is 3 c is 4 minus 7 whole square is 49 4 times 3 12 12 times 4 48 49 minus 48 is 1 so therefore the discriminant is 1 next sixth question find the tenth term of an ap so find the tenth term of an ap here minus 7 minus 2 3 8 so on here the first term is minus 7 common difference is formula is a2 minus a1 so minus 2 minus of minus 7 so minus 2 plus 7 is 5 common difference is 5 now i need to find the tenth term see to find tenth term nth term formula is a plus n minus 1 into d here a is a 10 so a is minus 7 plus 10 minus 1 into d value is 5 minus 7 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 9 times 5 is 45 so minus 7 plus 45 so 45 minus 7 is 38 so the tenth term of an arithmetic progression is 38 a ladder 20 meters long is leaning against a wall seventh problem a ladder 20 meters long is leaning against a wall this ladder is 20 meters here ac is the length of the ladder which is 20 meters if the foot of the ladder is 16 meters away this is foot of the ladder which is 16 meters away find the height where the top of the ladder touches the wall so we need to find h see it is a simple problem based on pythagoras theorem so here if you apply pythagoras theorem here hypotenuse square equals sum of the squares of other two sides so this is because of Pythagoras theorem next here AC is 20 square AB H which I need to calculate BC is 16 so 20 square is 400 equals H square plus 16 square is 256 so 400 minus 256 equals H square so 144 equals h square so h value is under root 144 so which is 12 root 144 is 12 meters so the height where the top of the tree touches the wall is 12 
meters. Next question, eighth one. Eighth question is the curved surface area of a cylinder. The curved surface area of a cylinder. So here see, curved surface area of a cylinder is two twenty centimeter square. Curved surface area of a cylinder formula is two pi r h is two twenty centimeter square. And they told its radius is seven. So if we we'll substitute radius directly, I'll get the value of h. So two into twenty two by seven into seven into height is two twenty. Seven and seven cancel. So h equals two twenty by two into twenty two. Twenty two times one, twenty two times ten, two times one, two times five. So height is five centimeter. Units compulsory. Next question. Express cosec theta in terms of cos theta. Express cosec theta in terms of cos theta. So see, you need answer in terms of cos theta. So the best one is with identity also you can solve. But the, if you take see, you need answer in terms of cos theta. So cos theta you consider as k. You can write as k, k by one. Cos theta ratio is adjacent by hypotenuse. So if you take a triangle. A, B, C. Right angle at B. Here I'll take theta. So adjacent is k. Hypotenuse is one. Apply Pythagoras theorem. AC square equals AB square plus BC square. AC is one. AB we don't have. AB we are calculating. BC is k. So one minus k square is AB square. Root one minus k square value is AB. So a b value is one minus k squared. Now you need the value of cosec theta. So cosec theta is hypotenuse by opposite. Hypotenuse by opposite. Here hypotenuse is one, but opposite is one minus k squared. One by under root one minus k. K is nothing but cos theta. So one minus cos squared theta. This is the answer. So directly, if you want to do with identity, cosec theta in terms of cos, you can do in this way. Alternate method, that is, cosec theta is nothing but one by sine. Sine theta is nothing but one minus under root one minus cos square theta because of the identity. So that identity is sine square theta. Plus cos square theta is one, so sine theta you need. So sine theta value is sine square is one minus cos square. So sine theta is under root one minus cos square. Cosec theta is one by sine, and sine you can add as under root one minus cos square theta by using identity, or otherwise by using Pythagoras theorem. In the same. Next question is draw a rough diagram. Okay, draw a rough diagram. For the following situation, Abhinay is observing the top of a cell tower with an angle of elevation 60 degrees. Now see here, tenth question. This is AB is a cell tower. Abhinay is at point C. He is observing the top of a cell tower at an angle of elevation 60 degrees. So here you should try it. AB is height of the Cell tower. C is the position of Abhinay, and angle of elevation ACB is 60 degrees. Next question. A bag contains three red balls, three green balls. Sorry. Eleventh question. A bag contains three green balls, and here red balls two. And blue balls four. Pranavi Pranavi takes out one ball from the bag at random. Find the probability that the ball taken out is green. So here first calculate how many total balls. Total is nine balls. Now probability of an event. The formula is probability of an event is number of favorable outcomes 
number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes by total number of outcomes now here if you'll see we need probability of green probability of green ball so here number of green balls here three by total number of outcomes is nine so three times one three times three the probability is one by three in the same way next question find the mode they are asking find the mode of 17 11 now see here these are the values ungrouped data 17 and 11 16 15 okay and then we have 9 14 12 now here see 17 solution for 12th question 17 we have like 1 2 3 times 11 we have 2 times 16 1 time 15 1 time 9 also we have 1 time 14 also we have 1 time and 12 also we have only for 1 time so the observation which occurs more frequently if you want you can count total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total 10 observations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah here the mode is the observations which occur more frequently that is nothing but here 17 because 17 is occurring like three times so the mode is 17 